Principles of Refrigeration. This is the first lesson in the first course that is in a series of courses that's going to teach you commercial refrigeration and mostly how to work on reach-in and walk-in coolers and freezers. Before we get started in lesson one, in this course we're going to look at the temperature ranges of refrigeration. We will go over the refrigeration cycle in depth both in a commercial refrigeration unit and a comfort cooling air conditioning system. We will relate the similarities and differences between refrigeration and air conditioning. We'll look at the uh, pressure temperature relationship of refrigerants. And we'll discuss just briefly the newer refrigerants that we use in the commercial refrigerations today. And then we'll go over the relationship between the four basic components in a refrigeration system before we move on to the specific components in a um, commercial refrigeration system. Okay, so here are some common temperatures for refrigeration. Air conditioning is what we're used to, most of us, which is a 75 degree range, plus or minus a few degrees. And then we have high temperature refrigeration. Now you don't run into this very often as a refrigeration tech because these are used for flower shops to keep the flowers fresh and candy stores and in, you'll work on a few of these but mostly you're going to be working on the medium temperature refrigeration in the 35 degree range which are refrigerators walk-in freezers and I'm sorry walk-in coolers and reach-in coolers and you'll be working on low temperature refrigeration which is in the minus 10 degree range uh, which are your free, which are your reach-in and walk-in freezer ranges. Another uh, temperature range is extra low temperature refrigeration. This you probably will not work on very often because this is industrial refrigeration and this is where products are stored in a huge freezer prior to shipping out to the stores, the grocery stores and to the uh, rest restaurant supplier houses and so forth. Okay, so what you'll be working on mostly is the medium and low temperature units. The and a walk-in refrigerator and cooler temperature range is between 35 and 37 degrees. And that's not a minus 37, that is 35 to 37 degrees. The reach-in refrigerator or cooler is 38 to 40 degrees. Walk a walk-in freezer is in the minus 10 degree range, and then a reach-in freezer is zero degrees and if you'll notice the temperatures of a walk-in and reach-in refrigerator are a little bit different where the reach-ins are a little higher the same here with the reach-in freezer that's due mo mo mostly because the way that they're used and the way that they're designed to be used so let's take a look at at the walk-ins okay so walk-ins they're designed to keep the f large amount of foods and products fresher for longer periods of time. So this is where when you go into a restaurant, they'll take their food delivery and they'll store it in the walk-in and freezer and cooler. And it is used for large storage. It's not used to be in and out of many, many times a day, although a lot of, of restaurants do that. And then this is a commercial prep table, which is a reach-in cooler on the bottom with some ingredients up here to make sandwiches or pizza at the top, and then they can make that, they make their sandwiches on the top of that unit. So the reach-ins are designed for convenience. So like I said, that what they'll do is they'll take and they will go into their walk-in cooler and they will stock the bottom here with condiments and so forth, and then they'll put all their sandwich prep or pizza prep food up on the top so that they can prep it right here on the table. So they are they should be restocked daily from walk-ins. Most of the time restaurants will use them for storage which they probably shouldn't be doing. So the way it's supposed to work is the daily the restaurant will go into their walk-in coolers and they will bring out their products and put it in their reach-in prep tables or the reach-in coolers and it's supposed to be used that day. 
They run at slightly higher temperatures, which aren't really a problem because it is only for daily use and short-term storage. And they are opened and closed many, many more times a day than a, a walk-in cooler or freezer is open and closed. So uh, having that slightly higher product temps are not a problem. Okay, so that's the end of lesson one. That was just a quick overview. We'll get a little bit more in depth in um, lesson two, three, and four in this series of videos.